This time, let's take a look at Media Central Collaborate from the point of view of the journalist or the reporter. Now, a reminder that Media Central Collaborate is an app inside of Media Central Cloud UX. So as well as the capability of viewing topics and assignments, things that have been planned, um, I also have other capabilities where I can search, I can browse, uh, I can create stories, I can write stories and I can edit. And we'll look through some of these capabilities in the course of this short video. I can also publish content out as well. Now, the first thing here we're looking at in Media Central Collaborate is the planner view. And in the planner view, I can see both topics and assignments. Now, as a journalist, I'm really interested in what assignments I have been uh, allocated to. So here you can see a big list of assignments. I want to very quickly go to the latest assignments for me. So I can use this quick filter here to filter to show only my stuff. So when I select that, it then changes and it only shows me uh, assignments on which I'm involved. And I can see the ones here because they all have my initials and they have a blue circle around it. So now I can see this paraglider rescue one is the first one on the list because I'm sorted by the most recent ones. If I double click to go into that, that then takes me into the assignment itself. I can see there's a couple of stories here and at the right hand side, I can also see the tasks. And here there are some tasks which have been uh, put in for me. Again, I can see that because my name is allocated against them um, and they have the blue circle around them. So let me have a look at this first one, the rescue underlay. Okay, so I can see here that there's some information, there's a dates and a, a due time for this as well. And it's telling me it wants a 20 second underlay with some video. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so let's see if we can work on this and let's take a quick look at the other one. Let's say this one is now in progress because I can change the status uh, for this one. And let's also then take a look at the rescue for Twitter, same thing. Okay, so again, let me go in and mark this as now in progress. So because this is more urgent, I'm going to work on the rescue for Twitter first. So here I can see that I've got a couple of stories um, in my what's called container here, because this is where I can begin to gather information together for everything related to this particular story. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look um, at the wire story, which is this one here. So if I double click on it, what that's going to do is open up the Media Central Newsroom system and take me directly to the particular story. So this is a wire story um, which has come in, which I can see here. We've got some information about as well. Okay. So I'm going to use this information for my social media post that I'm going to work in just now. But the next thing I want to do is I want to find some video footage that I'm going to use. So I'm going to use the search functionality in Media Central Cloud UX to allow me to do that. So here I'm going to go in and I'm going to search for the word paraglider. Uh, hit return on that. And here I can see we've got some paraglider video content and I want to add that to my container. So all I need to do is click on it here and I can drag it directly into my container to add that in. Now the advantage of doing something like this, of course, is now this media is available for anybody else who's also working in directly in this container as well. So let me go and just bring my um, Collaborate app back up. I don't need this assignment area here, so I'm just going to close it down. And let's take a look at this video content now. Okay, so here I've got some library pictures of some nice paraglider scenics that, uh, that perhaps we can use. Okay, so I'm going to do this post for Twitter. So I'm going to quickly go in and just create a sequence and let's call this one paraglider for Twitter and go ahead and create that. And what I want to do just now is I just want to quickly get some video content together, pop some shots in uh, and get this post out. So now I can use the editing functionality in Media Central Cloud UX to begin to do this. I'm not really interested in this panel at the moment, so I'm just going to hide it. And equally with the tasks, I don't care about that too much just now. And let me just make the video player a little bit bigger as well. So now I've done that, let me go in and I'm just going to begin to put some shots together. I just want to get this done quite quickly. Drag my video content down here. That's fine. I'm going to go a little bit later on here. Yeah, there's a nice aerial shot there. Oh, not quite so there. And let me just take a little bit of this. 
Let's go there and let's add this into a timeline as well. Okay, fine. So I've popped a couple of shots in there. Let me just trim this out a little bit from here. And now I can go across and look at my sequence and see what we've actually edited. So yeah, it's just a couple of quick shots. It's going to be enough to get me through what I want to get out onto Twitter. Yeah, that all looks good. Okay, fine. Don't want to take that shot for the trim there. So I'm just going to go in here and trim the tail of the shot. That cuts it back to there. All good. Okay, so let me just save that. And now what I want to do is I want to publish this to Twitter. The way that I can do that is we have integrated publishing tools in Media Central Cloud UX. So let's go into Media Central Publisher. And now what I can do from here is I can simply drag and drop my sequence in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply a template for this. We have a breaking news template which I can apply. Uh, I don't want to publish out in this case to Facebook and to YouTube. I just want to publish out to Twitter. So let's go ahead here and put some information in the message. So this is some breaking news. Paraglider rescued. Keep up to date for more information. Now my template is automatically going to add some content in here, including some graphic graphics. And of course, once I'm happy with that, if I have the right permissions, I can just go ahead and hit publish. Okay, so we're not really here focusing on Media Central uh, Publisher. We're here to focus on Media Central Collaborate. So let's now go back to Media Central Collaborate. And of course, what I can do with the task is I can now update the status and say, okay, this task is completed because I've done the rescue for Twitter. Now let's begin to work on the rescue underlay. Now the rescue underlay that I'm doing, of course, has got a couple of different elements. I could simply take what I've already done for Twitter, but I want to add a little bit more video to this. So let me just go and take a few more shots from here. That looks quite nice. And uh, let me just add that in here as well. And now what I want to do, of course, is I want to go to my actual story to begin to work on that. So I'm kind of finished with the video at the moment. So let me just close this up and let me go to the rescue underlay and just check what it said here. All right, so there's a blank story in the rundown here called rescue. So I'm just going to write it from there. So if again, if I double click on the rescue story, that's now going to take me directly to the rundown where I can begin to work. Now, of course, I already have the paraglider wire story here. So you can see here, I've got it. Now I could, if I wanted, just drag and drop that into the rundown. Um, or alternatively, what I'm actually going to do here is I'm just going to select some text and just copy that. And then what I'm going to do here, just going to paste the text in. And what I'm going to do just now is, of course, the first paragraph is going to be read by the presenter, but I want to add an extra instruction in here because this is where we want to roll the VT. And I'm going to pop in here the same kind of instruction so the presenter can see it on the prompter and the director is also aware of it as well. Now, again, I could go in and I could edit this and I could change this, but I'm just going to save this out at the moment. And let's go back into Media Central Collaborate. Now, I'm not closing the rundown here. I'm just changing my view back into Media Central Collaborate. And let's now go in and say, actually, this is now ready for review. So again, the planner can now see that this item is now ready for review and could come in and could review it. Now, I've done everything here using Media Central Collaborate on the web app. But of course, we also have a Media Central Collaborate mobile app. And so let's take a quick look at this as well. So here I'm using a little bit of software to mirror my mobile phone. I'm looking at the assignments in Media Central Collaborate. I would, of course, have received a notification when I was assigned to these tasks. But now what I want to do is I just want to look at my own stuff. So again, I can apply that quick filter. There is the paraglider rescue. So again, here I can then see the rescue for Twitter, the rescue underlay. Again, I can go in here. The other thing I can also do on the mobile phone is I can actually then go in and change the status of an item. So let's imagine that this is now being approved. So I can go and I can change that from here and I can then go and update that. So now if I come back into my Media Central Collaborate app on the web, I can now see that this has now been approved. And of course, what I would now do with this particular story is I would take my sequence from here, I can save it, 
And then what I can do is I can, of course, send this to playback. Sending this to playback will now change this item and transfer it into a playout server. So let's go ahead and do this. Hit send. And now the rescue underlay, I can come in and say, okay, this is now complete as well. So now that I've marked this as complete, the other thing of course I can also do is I can add my finished sequence into my um, uh, container here. And you can see that I've added that in. Now I've just used the same sequence for both Twitter and for this rescue story here. You could of course have different versions of it and add that in as well. In the container that we have in Media Central Collaborate, I can have rushes, unedited material, edited sequences, subclips, stories, uh, images, PDFs, any items that are part of our systems uh, that we have within the Avid Media Central family. So that's how I can use Media Central Collaborate from the point of view of the reporter.